Emily Ricks, and I play first violin in this social distancing inspired virtual production of Brahms' iconic piano quintet in F minor. I'd like to tell you the story of why we chose to take this project on, and the process that we undertook to pull it off, and some of the obstacles that we faced along the way. It all started with the onset of the coronavirus pandemic in March of 2020. It seems strange and rather uncomplimentary to be suddenly lumped into a new category known as the non-essential worker and to find ourselves at home with no opportunities to collaborate with other musicians or to perform. After a few weeks of shutdown, I started to notice other musicians sharing virtual performances online and I had the urge to do the same. I actually found myself thinking, I bet I could figure out how to do a split screen video of me playing a duet with myself. And so the very first video that I put up on my channel was exactly that. Um, I chose to play a violin duet called The Lover's Waltz by Jay Unger and Molly Mason. I recorded all the parts and put them up on all my social media channels. And even though the production value was painfully remedial, I received such a positive response that I thought it would be fun to try to do more. On my Facebook page, I issued a clarion call to all my musical friends asking who wanted to collaborate with me. Before long, I was able to convince my friend, former roommate, and fellow violinist Heidi Diefel that my suggestion that we play Brahms chamber music and make a virtual production was actually not a joke. Heidi's response to my invitation to play Brahms was overwhelmingly positive. You know, just because as musicians, if someone invites you to play Brahms, you just don't say no. Our cellist, Emma Patterson, jumped on the thread shortly thereafter, followed by our violist, Haley Vance. And before long, we found ourselves in search of a pianist who was both skilled enough to play the Brahms piano quintet and crazy enough to join us. As a side note, not everyone in our string quartet was acquainted with each other before um, we started this project. And currently, as it stands, I am the only person in our group who our violist Haley has met or played with in person. Heidi then made the invitation to Christy Skousen, our wonderful pianist, and Christy accepted. And as it stands currently, I still am only acquainted with Christy by watching her play the piano hour upon hour in the editing room. I am very much looking forward to meeting Christy and playing with her in person one day. The excitement and hype of the prospect of playing Brahms chamber music and collaborating musically in a new way lasted long enough for us to make all sorts of interesting and lofty plans. Then, one night, somewhere around 2 a.m., I jolted awake with the question of, what in the world are we doing? And the startling realization of just how crazy and complicated those plans actually were. For myself, with next to no video or audio editing experience, I came to the realization that we were probably going to want to try something simpler in order to familiarize ourselves with the process of what it was going to take to put together a project like this. We decided for the string players to start working on a simpler piece, uh, and it was a string quartet arrangement of the flower song from the opera Lachme. And while we started to work on that, Christy went to work on learning the piano part for Brahms. The flower song came together relatively smoothly with only a few hiccups. I recorded the first violin part, and then I sent it to Emma, our cellist. Emma recorded the cello part while listening to the violin one in her earbud. Then she sent it back to me and I combined the violin and cello track. I sent that combined track to Haley, our violist, to listen while she recorded and then Heidi finished us off. We released that on Mother's Day 2020 and after that release is when we undertook the same process to get started working on the Brahms. I thought we would be able to pull the Brahms together in a matter of two or three months, but we had no idea what we were up against. Between us, all five of us with the combined total of 20 or so children, the sudden virtual schooling of those children, full-time jobs, including a law practice for Heidi, a move, COVID, virtual music teaching, and sending kids off to college on missions, and even sick pets. Our Brahms project was often exiled to the realms of being fit here and there in the cracks, recording in moments of quiet that had been desperately fought for and won, and in all, this project has taken us 15 months to complete. As you listen and watch our performance, watch for little things that give away our process and how long we took to complete. We recorded and assembled this movement in three different chunks. Watch for earbuds or wires, changes in hairstyle or accessories and backgrounds, and even seasonal decor. 
and a very discerning ear may even be able to hear the difference between sections in the audio track. This project has been such a fun and interesting challenge for us, and it has brought welcome, distraction, engagement, and enjoyment during the dark days of the pandemic. We truly hope you enjoy our virtual production of the first movement of the Brahms F minor Piano Quintet.